Uh, here's a fun tip. I think this is a really handy tip actually, uh, that I didn't learn about until I was in DNA Vancouver, which is embarrassing because I've been in the industry for like five years and it's, everyone's probably gonna know it. And they'll be like, yeah, Michael, obviously. But here's a really fun tip. So I've got these seams here. I've got these UV lines for these seams. So I'm gonna go to the vertices and I wanna just move them in. So I could scale them um, like that. Just scale them inwards but it wouldn't be super consistent and there'll be some places, especially, let's have a look, because this is all pretty much on one axis, it'll be, it's probably gonna be okay. But usually there'll be some bits that wouldn't go in properly. Um, I'm trying to think how I can demonstrate that. But take my word for it that usually just scaling in a seam, you'd get some areas that are funky if it wasn't quite as flat as this. So if I go to vertices and I move them, but if I go to tool settings, instead of moving the axis orientation world, if I change this to normal now, you can move it on its normal axis, which basically you can just move it inwards on every single point so it's different um, per point. And so if I just move this now on N, you've got this U, V and N, I'm gonna move it in on N and it will just bring that in pretty much an equal distance everywhere. Um, so now I've got this really lovely seam and that's how I usually do those and I can, show you how and why that's really powerful. So this sleeve, for example, if I wanted to scale this, if I wanted to puff this sleeve out, let's say it's too thin, right? So I wanna, I'm just gonna, if I wanted to like, I'm gonna move this back to object. If I wanted to scale this out a little bit to make it thicker, then let's just select these bits. So again, if I scale this now, it's not quite right. And I could try scaling it. If I don't wanna scale it up that way, then I could just do it on this axis, but then it's gonna warp and, just a bit weird. Um, obviously, without the fall off, it's gonna look weird anyway. But um, then, yeah, it's moving down here, which I don't really want. So I could like try to do it on just a couple of axes, but weird. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to vertices now and I'm gonna change that to normal again. And this is really great for making things thicker and thinner, which a seam is just making something thinner, but in one very particular area. So I'm gonna change it to normal again. Uh, sorry, I don't wanna scale, I wanna move it on the normal. And now if I move this on the normal, it just pushes everything in. And now that sleeve is thinner than it was. And it's kept this shape as well. Uh, if I bring it out sometimes, if you make it really extreme, then you lose those shapes a bit, but that's also a thicker version. Um, and that's just a really handy way to make things thicker and thinner. Potentially people already knew that tip. I did not. Um, and it's until like three years ago. Um, so here's another real quick example of this. And I'm just gonna narrate over this for a bit more conciseness. Here's some braces from this costume that I'm making. And if I wanted to make it thicker or thinner, it'd be quite difficult to with the scale, it'd be really difficult to. So just using that normal, I can make this piece of fabric, which is too thick, a lot thinner. That's, and also, if you're gonna use the normal tip, make sure to switch back. Cause you'll be like, why can't I, if you're selecting faces, for example, it's like, why won't these move? My, it's broken, but it's like, no, because you can't select normal faces, you can only select normals of verts. You have to be in vert mode, I should have mentioned earlier, to do that. So you need to make sure to switch back, because otherwise you won't be able to move anything. That could be incredibly frustrating.